This is basically to close the case about MK Ultra. I made a big mistake, uh, for which I was even told by Prince William, uh, by Prince Andrew and by Prince Charles, that if I would give be going back and forth indicating that I am willing to work with them and uh, uh, rejecting them it would really have a bad effect on their health but I bet this is true uh, let me demonstrate your mistake I have made that I published on Friday the 23rd 2024 King Charles was uh, um, and the next day I uh, what is it yesterday even uh, early morning hours today I made a video uh, about MK Ultra in Germany and um, was marrying in Germany marrying in Germany this would be this thing here I was trying to be a little bit humorous for the sake of I, I cannot refer to this as a good old times because I would be clearly insane uh, but this is how their conduct was during MK Ultra good times they refer to the old times good times all kinds of times all kinds of gimmicks crap brainwash they involved in it to make you feel like you are part of something more uh, than just torture I was part of something more however the problem is I cannot relate to these people in any way I wish I could I would if I could the thing is, I cannot, re re uh, I cannot relate to them in any way. I cannot relate to. I cannot relate to you guys in any way. Not to Ursula von der Leyen. Not to any politician that were involved in it. In this case, maybe the most I can relate to is Emmanuel Macron. And I cannot relate to any other politicians. I cannot relate to any of you. I would say that uh, Olaf Scholz had some feelings for me too. But the thing is that um, I'm not going to say that Merkel didn't have a feelings for me. This is a really, really strange feelings, strange ways. Um, the most detrimental, the biggest impact to me was the impact that uh, now King Charles had on me. Uh, And the impact that he had on me is very, very, very negative impact. Because the closer I grew to one, uh, or I should say the closer he grew to me in my head, 
the more betrayed I became is he went on even to throw me into the psychiatric hospital and he used the issue of the torture of the Slovenes Slovensky Slovenia Ljubljana to present himself as a solver of my case my friend and really as much as I tried to do this since 2012 I'll be honest with you I don't want to hate myself because of the f scum filled like this I don't want to start to hate myself I don't have anybody in this world I have myself and I don't want to start to hate myself because of the filled like this I don't want to do that he had the biggest impact on this case he dragged this case for 52 years pushed me into the grave I will never forget the police investigators this Slovenian scum that started to tutor me that is normal during MK Ultra. I couldn't sleep during MK Ultra either, whatever the fuck they were doing with me. More than four hours. I remember now because they tutored me, they told me, they said to me, well, you know, whatever they told me whatever whatever kind of patients or liver or kidney whatever patients they told me they cannot sleep uh, more than they also live like this they also get four hours of sleep then they do something else that it comes down whatever and then they go and they get more sleep this is what they started to tutor me during MK Ultra beginning 2010 it was more than psychiatry in which Prince Charles back then uh, who went on to Okititis Okititis is Nalichitis is a ketum went on to jewel himself as a king of Britain and of course to pose in the media throughout the media expressing ultimate derision for me through numerous every almost news he released was involved in mk ultra brainwash through his mainstream media to ridicule me to zanichovani i don't know even how to to denigrate me to remind me of torture and so on this sadistic sadism so it was more than psychiatry it was the way to handle me through circumstances which concerned physical well-being not only the forced unemployment right so these are these are terms that are horrific this is a stuff that is horrific. This is a horrific stuff that this individual pressed against me through Ljubljana, through Slovenia. Right? I don't have anybody in this world. I am by myself and I don't want to hate myself. I tried to see it a different way. These people were present in this since my childhood. Big part of it, they witnessed this stuff and they even fortified me, creating some kind of personality that was literally used to collapse Soviet Union. Using me as a child for other politicians throughout the Soviet Union, Warsaw Pact, 
including uh, Chinese and everybody, to see themselves through me rather than violent apparatchiks from Moscow, Russians and Serbs from Belgrade. The thing, however, is that this stuff was not for me. Uh, the thing, however, is that in 2012 I was labeled as mentally ill. The cars, the jobs, the real estate, the wealth that you guys who work with the British royals, with Germans, with, you know, you all shared with one another. You had, you, you all had something out of it. You know, it was real. It's a real thing. When it comes to me, it was only mental illness that was real. I was only labeled as good as that, forcefully unemployed, listed as good as that, dead walking man, severely tortured, but never recognized as tortured, finally told in the face my being mentally ill after 40 years of MK Ultra torture. I don't want to hate myself, really, I don't want to hate myself. Um, it's better to die denied completely, it's better to die poor and denied than mentally ill. You know, uh, it, it was a Friday that I published that news and it's today Sunday and I, I, I started to hate myself. I started to hate myself just for that sentence that I placed. Uh, something that is always going to remind me. Um, something that is making me really, really crazy. I, I started to think about this 24-7 since Friday. And it, it totally disturbed me. It, it, it drove me insane. The sentence, the offer that I gave to the King Charles. To go and cut the grass in the backyard here. It's a humiliation that I am not going to forgive myself. I don't know what else I would say. You guys... As I headed to the city, there was a... There were two kids, probably Ukrainian, or maybe even Slovenian, who the fuck knows. And, but they speak Russian language, and maybe even Russian, who the fuck knows. And it was exactly according to MK Ultra as I was ascending, ascending from the bridge up toward the semaphore intersection, when the two started to natolcevati, uh, insist, repeat the words from MK Ultra scenario, the whole thing. They, they went past me and it was like, Podajdi, 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 uh, hold on, hold on to it. And it was during MK Ultra over and over, Slovenian police rehearsed to me with a psychiatrist cops, uh, with Prince Charles also and others in picture that the, we won't be able to save you, including Angela Merkel, because uh, it will be a war in Ukraine. And saving you, that would mean immediate uh, altercation, uh, a total war, obviously with Russia. We will not, you're going to have to wait for the war, obviously, that I would have to wait for the war to end. And so, I don't even know if I'm going to wake up tomorrow alive, I'm not going to get some blood clots in my head or something like that, cancer, whatever, might explode. Uh, and I'm going to be waiting for the end of the war in Ukraine. It, this is not what this is about this even even so really uh, when King Charles took me to India I think it was in 2019 in Poland when the case already was totally undeniable Um, 
was it this one here and he was showing his sausage fingers you know uh, with <clears throat> let me just see if he did go out there to meet people uh, who were involved in it this this characteristic the color orange color that they had I see that orange color but it will be this so that I give you uh, 2019 he had me with him during his visit to India and he was very very formal with me you know uh, he was showing me his sausage fingers and so on he was very very formal and miserable with me uh, and it appeared to me it was just like Putin he just wanted to waste me without giving me absolutely any kind of sleep I mean this guy was out there to literally kill me if it wasn't for Americans that would rip me away from the picture, maybe he would have killed me, basically just through the sleep, sleep deprivation a little bit. He, he continued with more crazy scenarios involving torture in it and so on. Um, this was in 2019, this is five years ago. Um, it's like this, you know, uh, Personally, from my point of view, if it was so, you know, because they insisted we cannot help you, we cannot help you until you actually prove, uh, you know, we did so much work for you, so many scenarios, so many, so many, you were in so many locations, so many things, you have so many proofs, it's so easy for you to prove. Um, I didn't have any kind of chance to prove, not because of where I was, not because of I would not remember anything like this, but with the, uh, um, I don't know how you say, Zanka, uh, a rope around my neck, uh, literally being even branded as mentally ill in 2012. Yeah. I had absolutely no way to prove, to even start talking about something like this, because before 2012, I was ongoingly labeled as somebody, if I will state, mention MK Ultra, will be labeled as mentally ill. I was conditioned with the psychiatry, what eventually became, at one point in time, once they inflicted enough injuries and to fortify physical injuries labeled as mentally ill so you know um if 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 i was and if if there was be if there would be one fucking drop of the humanity in me if there would be just one fucking drop of of something human in me just a little intention to help the guy in 2019 i know for sure that i would approach one and I would, first thing I would make sure is that his financial standings are okay. I would make sure, in other words, that he is safe, that he is doing okay. I would approach to him in a way. The first thing I would do is I would apologize. And I would state individual, this is the way it is, so on. Immediately I would terminate this procedure. But this fucking scum, they... They are fucking scum that is un incredible, basically unheard of. Man, I was thinking about this stuff. Um, I am not any more safe to be around with when it comes to the politicians like Prince Charles, Prince William and so on. Because I know myself, the truth is that you are a scum and... If I would get you in my hands, I wouldn't do anything, I would go my way. But it's enough that I envisioned you in these things as somebody who delivered damage, hurt, caused harm to the such degree that I started to salute executioners of a Romano family. That's not normal.
I started to see myself in something that I really never ever should do to hatred against you that you that you embedded in me you royalty try to turn me into a communist you did absolutely everything possible to hate this my skin color to hate my ethnicity to hate my race my religion to put me out of the skin into some kind of human being that you could present the world as in contrary in contrast to you completely unworthy and basically incapable to assist you are the biggest scum uh, I, 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 I cannot imagine that is magic odpadic is metric is very bad word that's an excrement it's a it's a dunk exists within the society like yourself Charles I could not forgive myself just giving you giving you slightest chance sorry not to you not to William not to any one of you I think you are you're disgusting creatures for me personally existence your existence in tabloids is super 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 insult now you did you went ahead and uh, you you um, you promoted yourself into a king but uh, that doesn't give you the right uh, in my eyes to be diligent to be due uh, any kind of mediation any kind of procedure that would reduce um, your liability for for issues I mentioned. So I tried, and the thing is that within <laughs> within I don't know what is it forty eight hours. I started to hate myself. I, I couldn't do it. So, sorry, it was not the idea to shift your mental status from negative to positive, which is the worst thing, as you and William were assuring me. Um, it's just that, it's just that, um, yeah, it's exactly what I stated in the video. I am, I, I pity you Angela Merkel for this I, I was always so much looking forward to meet these people I was so much looking forward to somehow understand their side some see their side what they have to say uh, there are such important witnesses and such important people influential uh, on police on courts and so on well um, if I could, I would fucking grind you. There is no relation other between me and you. And the thing is, I know today there never was. You were a scum. You always were a scum. And off you go, wherever the fuck you go. Buy yourself death certificates or whatever you will do. That's all I have to say in this video. I cannot... I cannot afford myself to hate myself. That's that's one thing I will never do. Whatever life is going to take, for, for better or for worse, is one thing I'm never going to do. Hate myself because of you. And just for me to properly finish this video, Charles was always saying who you are, what you are, and it's funny because Camila used to talk with the Camila in, in front of me they indirectly interacted with William and Royals interacted and talked about it, they mentioned that stuff in the media to remind me of that uh, dark dark soul dark soul he doesn't have a dark soul and uh, and the and the charles went on and, and uh, 
uh, who you are, we uh, have to see. Yeah, they have to see it, who the fuck I am, uh, according to them. It was the, they, they would yet have to see, so they exercise so much torture to yet have to see who I am. And further, La Operetta, uh, maybe you are even worse than, the, than them. And they pointed at the police officers whom they have watched how they were doing with me all along, you know. Um, they, they pointed in 10 millions of hate crimes, boy. 10 millions of hate crimes against one man, one human being, and you're talking about the dark soul. This is King Charles, this is your King Charles that you have, your King Charles, his might, Camilla and William and Harry. This is the link where it takes us. It's where I explained how I drew the Soviet apparatchiks insane acting, how I started to act deliberately insane as a defiant defiance in their violence against their violence against me because there was no way to defend myself anymore from such a degree of violence and it's something that was acknowledged by the British royals at age maybe even eight age nine I started to do this I had to do this to survive literally and they Charles and Andrew acknowledged this is brilliant and they started to support this stuff the thing is that The thing is that even this issue here, the two have used to fuck me with, together with Milan Kuchan, with this guy here. Even this became the subject of procedure uh, assisting Milan Kuchan to even fuck me with this issue. Even this is what they did, even this the two used, even this issue the two used after already discussing one with others and it became visible what I was doing it, it's, it, it played a major role upon the fall of the Soviet Union this issue uh, even this issue the two turned against me and basically everything I was doing because this is the thing these people demanded from me Charles Merkel, all these politicians, Macron has a least to do with it because Macron was just used as a shield for everything that the French politicians have done against me. You know, uh, probably the best politician of them all was probably Macron. You know, I am angry with uh, Olaf Scholz because once the issue of Ukraine came on a picture. He completely crossed me out. And when it comes to Ursula von der Leyen, this is like a Gestapo. This is a perfect, perfect Gestapo. This is just, uh, you know, working everything according to the logic systematically, uh, as per convenience, and basically fuck you. You know, Ursula von der Leyen stated to me basically compare with me. With absolutely what you will have, nothing, less than nothing. Um, Milan Kuchan, uh, upon the fall of the Soviet Union in 91, this is the kind of issue that it was further exploited to drive the Russians crazy by bringing Romanian, Hungarian, Polish, all kinds of people to the table and uh, Polish not, but Romanians and Hungarians did assist me big time in this stuff. Um, 
they did follow up on me and wanted me to be with the Baltic states and everybody involved in it and continue to fight for their freedom, obviously. And we continued together. I didn't mind this stuff to drive Russians completely insane by simply granting ourselves the right to sign the contracts with Americans, with the Germans, with the British, with French, with Spanish, with Italians, the way we want it. And the way we want it is but basically with my comrades to continue this game, basically acting crazy at the negotiation table, uh, you know, having arrangements already ahead of these contracts uh, with whatever party this agreements were to sign and while signing these uh, contracts in the presence of the Russians uh, act crazy you know that would be like asking me in front of the Russians if it's good or whatever and then just act like crazy and sign the contract and this is the stuff that was also used to drive Russians crazy with this kind of stuff um, it's notable for me that in 1993 uh, they pulled me inside of the living room area in this house and they told me you know I'm saying this it, it, it's got to do with it with this issue here because I was even contemplating on you know that you know maybe I, sh I should change the stand because you know because 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 in a way these people have seen themselves in me you know talking about the Charles Andrew and so on you know, this is why I am discussing this issue as the last and once in the living room in 1993 they sit me in there in the living room and there were like three guys inside in there and they told me we're gonna do that stuff again the Russians are coming and we're going to be signing the stuff, the contracts and so on. Uh, and we want you again to act crazy and we're going to act crazy and we're going to see how they're going to react to it. And that's exactly what it was from the living room area. They delivered me to this kitchen and the Russians came. Uh, they pulled this stuff again, uh, people inside of the kitchen and they started again what would be a contract and so on. And it was this guy who whom I he sat right there and I was and I was just um, you know acting myself crazy with Russians again going up their hair you know pretending that they are upset that they are angry it was very very realistic it looked like real to me <laughs> maybe they were completely ticked in the head but I doubt about it I doubt about it because Milan Kuchan was talking to me about that he knows all he all the time since 1990 that he knows what I am doing and what I am doing is not the right thing. He keep talking to me during MK Ultra that he knows what I am doing, that he knows what I am doing. Since 1988 actually this started that he knows what I am doing that he knows what I am doing but it didn't matter even if he knew you see the thing about this stuff about acting crazy like this it, it's something that I have to say to you um, sovereignty means exactly that it's 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 not that you have the right to act crazy you know under this kind of circumstances it's your duty to act insane and do the stuff like this in front of the bully who thinks that he's going to utilize like let's say china is doing to taiwan you know uh, a total control of you through the mental pressure on you acting aggressive and so on now this is your sovereignty your sovereignty dictates that you in fact you have to do this kind of stuff in fact that you have to do as much stuff as this to uh, drive the opposite party completely insane you know so for whatever reason 
they're acting violent around you. This, this, is, this is what your freedom dictates. This is the law basically dictates that you have to do the stuff like this, right? And so I know that I was righteous one. I know that even that he knows what I was doing, that this was my duty, my job to continue to do this stuff. So Milan Kuchan was keep telling me that he knows what I'm doing. Since 1988, he pressured me because he thought that I will stop assisting Americans and Germans and British and others in doing Canadians and Australians and so on in doing this kind of stuff. Um, I had no intention. Uh, but the thing is that it was different back then in 1993 because... Uh, all of a sudden, the doors open from the kitchen. The doors open from the kitchen, and it was a Milan Kuchan that walked inside of this kitchen. And once he walked inside of the kitchen, he was, well, uh, I know what you are doing. And he went ahead and he talked, they talked with the Russians, and the Russians visibly calmed down. But what makes it different this time was that this is already over with the Soviet Union, that it was Prince Charles and Prince Andrew who also came uh, to advise me again. We told you that we work together. Don't do that anymore. That we work together. And they continue to repeat these things. It also in 94 and in 95 reminded me that we work together. And I continue to remind them that there is no together. You understand? There is no together. There never was any together. Uh, there was no together. There is no together in a human slavery, uh, in below human dignity, total de dignity, like below the human slavery. There is no dignity in below the human, when you are even below dog. There is no us. There is no together. I'm saying this because they wanted me to choose. They demanded from me to choose the side on which side you're going to be. The thing is, there never was together. The thing is that you have proven that there was no together. Yes, they assisted the Russians, fuck me in my back, and started to use me like a mascot to kill somebody like this, basically. And that happened already much earlier. It's just that upon the fall of the Soviet Union, British royals started to make themselves more and more clear about their intentions. So I thought that this would be just a little input in addition to what I published, excellent stuff about uh, how this procedure went on. It wasn't only about the Hollywood movies and music and stuff like this that they were using that I... Uh, uh, glorified in Moscow and in Belgrade, uh, cars and so on, ridiculed them, humiliated them. It was about other issues, also issues like this. But, you know, there would never was any together. British royals alone, with other politicians involved in this stuff, have proven me that there was one thing there was. There never was any together. There was I and there was you. And you even went ahead to do whatever you possibly could to make me hate myself, my race, my ethnicity, my religion, my absolutely everything with the idea to detach me away, to settle with another group of people, whatever, out of hatred, out of hatred against myself. You understand? There never was us. It was I and it was you. It is I and it's you. And this is the way it's going to be. But there never was us in this case. I thought this would be very, very important. You did everything you possibly could to even turn me into communist. But basically, you believe out of hatred that I'm going to turn in absolutely everything against materialism and so on. Something so disgusting that I am so proud that people hear about this Romanos from London what this case is all about, the magnitude, the size of this scum in London from Buckingham Palace, why it's like this. I would, Pomilostiti, I don't know, and they have in, in the US, they have this, 
where they 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 have this um, Turkey Day, where they have this turkeys in the White House, and they just don't kill them. They um, um, they forgive them, whatever. Um, there is no such thing. There never were going to be any kind of forgiveness. Uh, it's going to be about self-awareness. It's going to be about remembrance, just like for every war people do. It's going to be about awarding myself for the work done. Awarding my dignity, myself, and my well-being. It's about, it's time in my life that it's about I, myself, something that husband from my niece had a big problem with, who used to regard me as a cretin. Boggy was uh, the most frequently used words of my niece. Boggy, poor. I thought this would be important to clarify about us, about <coughs> pardon me, you, I, we, <coughs> and of course, end of the war in Ukraine. <laughs> There was you, um, your wealth, your well-being, your health, uh, all the prestige in this world, uh, really rewarding jobs, careers, uh, schools, and then it was I, myself, who never existed. I only equal to the torture to MK Ultra, and let's say MK Ultra was a schizophrenia. When you present somebody with scenarios like this, for which you claim they never took place, that individual were, would go and file charges, complain charges, through police, which enforce, which enforce together with the psychiatrist this type of procedure, it would be acknowledged as a schizophrenic. It was you and it's I, and it was for 52 years. So if this is what makes you man, if this is what makes you king, I'm going to say to you British, so be it. And you use the suffering, the bestiality performed on me through the psychiatric medications that you use. For which I told you the pain was so excruciating, I had a difficulty moving my jaws and difficulty walking. Asking my mom to actually tie me on the bed due to pain, excruciating pain I suffered. That you went ahead together with the psychiatrist Peter Kopsch and Slovenian police to reward yourself with the ability to cause me more harm through yet another psychiatric hospitalization and remind me of horrors, of MK Ultra horrors with ongoing stalking, police stalking, which went on. How disgusting. Even after 2019, with the idea to cause trauma, to remind of harm that you have done to me. So that, for peace's sake, for love's sake, for the fuck's sake, for the jerk-off's sake, for the air's sake, for the schizophrenia's sake, I would keep silent. It was you and it's I. There never was any us.